Shall we move on to a physics question? Okay, that's excellent. So what we have is we have two objects. Uh, object A and object B. Okay. Uh, they both have the same mass, but the density of B is half that of A. Okay. okay. What is the average density of the two objects? So density equals mass over volume. Yeah. So if they both have the same mass, you have essentially two units that have a density PA, mm -hmm. and you have um, one that's PB density B. Okay, just be ca okay, careful of that. What did we say density is? Density is mass divided by volume. Okay, so let's think about that carefully. Mm -hmm. What's the combined mass? Hit just two m. Let's write that down. Okay, so rho is equal to just just write down rho is equal to, and what's our volume now in terms of say VA? It'll be three VA. Yeah. So that's going to be two thirds. Of. Of the density of A. Yeah, exactly. Okay, now does it? If we were to take the average density. What do we get? So if you were just to average the two densities, it would be um, it just 3 over 2 by... It's three, 3 over 2 is uh, times 2, or times 1 over 2, which is um, 3 quarters. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so what we're seeing in this case here is that the density is not... You can't just take the average of the two densities. Yeah. Okay. And that is mainly because it's... Which of the two components was different? Was it the mass or the volume? The volume. And we can see it's one over the volume, yeah. so we've got to be careful when we're taking averages. So let's take this into a real world context. Okay, and let's say we consider a submarine. Okay, rough figures are um, the density of um, air is about one kilogram per meter cubed. Yeah, roughly. Uh, it's, it's air, water, is about ten thousand. That's about a thousand kilograms per meter cubed. Yeah. yeah. And steel is nine nine and a quarter to ten thousand kilograms per meter cubed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we now have a submarine. Very crudely. Okay. There's a cross section through a submarine, and some of it is steel. And you've got air in the middle, yeah. and you've got water outside. Okay, what do you think the ratio of the masses of the air and the steel should be in order for the submarine to be mutually buoyant? So we want the average density of steel and air to equal the density of the water. So right, okay, good. and just remember what we just say. we've got to just take the average density, so we've got to be a little bit careful of this, but you're exactly right. Okay, so we want the density of the submarine to equal the density of the water, mm -hmm. um, and the density of the submarine is the average density of the air and the steel, which is also equal to the mass of air plus the mass of steel over the volume of the submarine. And what's and the volume of the submarine? Is the volume of the? Water displaced. And? Um, volume. volume of steel plus volume of the air. Yes. Plus volume of the air. Yeah. Well, we can say that that's, and that's equal to the density of water. Yes. So that's equal to a thousand. Yeah. Um, so, We'd need to know, given what you want is the ratio of the masses, why don't you yeah. try and have a substitution for the volumes? Um, okay, so do mass of air plus mass of steel over um, m over b, so yeah. b equals m over rho. Yes. So it'll be um, the mass of air over 1 plus the mass of steel over 
10,000. Yeah. Yeah. So the mass of steel over the mass of air is 999 over 0.9. Yeah. Divide 3 by. Um, I'll we'll just take 9, so this will be 111 over 0.1. So 1,110 kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, and I'll, what's the mass of oh, ratio? No, it's ratio. <laughs> it's ratio. So it's just. Okay, so, so which is there more of? The mass of, is it more steel or more air? There's more steel. Um, no, because the density of steel is so much bigger, so there'll actually be a lot more air. Uh, uh, no, no, okay. Look at the masses. Yeah. So what does this say? It's the mass of the... The mass of steel is 1,110 times the mass of the air. Right. Which is kind of counterintuitive. You would have thought there would be more air in there. But, yeah. what about the volumes? So the volume, that there will be more air because the density of steel is so much bigger. Exactly. Exactly. So, so it gives you some kind of intuitive thought, uh, what you're doing here. And remember we said it's because it's one over the volume that yeah. you're worried about. And that's what gives, gives us these kind of counterintuitive ways through. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you.